My earliest memory of a vocation was uh, from my junior year of high school, and I never thought that I would be a sister. I never dreamed about that, but it was through one of my high school teachers that, um, who actually called me sister after I was helping her one day after school, and she, she said sister, and it was like a light bulb moment for me, really, and I realized that's what I had been searching for. I didn't know it, but God had been really been working on me through different um, encounters. I remember driving by Catholic churches on Sundays on the way to a horse show and, and realizing I should be at church right now. And I, that was the Lord really tugging at my heart. I realized once that the high school teacher asked me to come back um, to mass that I was called to something greater. And I went back to confession and after I went to confession, I, um, it was like scales were removed from my eyes and all of a sudden I realized everything I had been missing. And I had this hunger and thirst for the truth and for the faith. And it was like I got set on fire. It was really my Catholic school that gave me that forum to receive the faith, to receive love, and to know that I am a beloved daughter of God. And it was really my parish family and of course, um, all the people at my parish school that fostered and helped me to say yes to my vocation. I grew up riding horses. I started in the second grade and, uh, you know, it's history. I rode almost every single day. I can hardly, I could probably count on my hand the times that I've missed being at the barn. <laughs> and I actually learned a lot of uh, discipline a lot of virtue through my experience with riding. If you were discerning a vocation, like something that's been such a huge part of your life or something that you feel passionate about, you can give it up and God, God will give it back to you a hundredfold. I felt like I gave away a part of me that was huge and very important and uh, giving that away was actually the greatest thing I could have ever done because I've, I've received so much more from him after having let go of that, this it's really so small in the eyes of God. Um, and it's not like I've never ridden a horse again, like I've ridden after <laughs> after becoming a sister. And he, he gives you little glimpses into what heaven will be like through fulfilling those little desires of your heart. But after having given, given away what seemed to be the most precious thing to me, I've received so much more through my vocation, both spiritually and physically, and um, through the relationships I have, through the knowledge of God, through all of the things that the community has given me. I, I really, I don't deserve it. <laughs>